Hello everyone, my name is Deborah Cumberledge and I'm the Youth Outreach Specialist for the Adams County Public Library. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are talking all about princesses today. So our first thing I'm going to do, we're going to, I'm going to actually read you a story that's a classic retelling of the tale of the princess and the pea. I'm going to be reading the story a little bit differently because I'm going to be reading it using one of the library's online resources, Hoopla. And you can access that with your library card. I'm going to be reading this story off my tablet. So we're going to see how this is going to go. We're going to try this out. I hope you enjoy the story. Let's go ahead and get started. The Princess and the Pea. And this, was, this variation was published in 2017 by Twin Sisters. The Princess and the Pea, originally written by Hans Christian Andersen, adapted by Carrie James, and illustrated by Barbara Lanza. Once there was a prince who wanted to marry a princess. Only a real princess would do. So the young prince Thessidius traveled the world and knocked on many castle doors to find his princess. But everywhere he went, things went wrong. There were lots of princesses to be found, but there was something that not quite right about them. They either talk too much or not at all. They were either too old for him or too young. They were either spoiled rotten or they owned too many noisy little dogs. So Prince Basidius came all the way back home with nothing but a cough and a cold for his troubles. One evening, a terrible storm blew up. There was much thunder, lots of lightning, and even more rain. It really was frightful. The king, who had gone to the kitchen to sneak a cupcake and some milk, heard a knock at the door. Coming, he shouted. He opened the heavy wooden door and found a young woman standing there. What a sight that young woman was. Water streamed from her hair, down her gown, into her shoes, and out at her heels. Yet she curtsied gracefully and said, Your Majesty, I am Princess Rose of Royalton. May I come in? Oh, of wire, yes, of course, replied the king. He left Princess Rose standing in the hall and ran to get his wife, the queen. She says she's a princess, says the king. We'll soon find out, replied the queen. The queen went downstairs to greet Princess Rose and give her some towels, a flannel nightgown, and a toothbrush. While the princess dried off and brushed her teeth, the queen had her sleepy servants strip the guest bed. Then she placed a tiny green pea on the bed frame. Hmm. Next, the queen took 20 mattresses and piled them on top of the pea. After that, she took 20 goose feather quilts and piled them on top of the mattresses. Up you go, my dear, said the queen. Good night. That's really tall, isn't it? The next morning, the queen asked Princess Rose, Did you sleep well? Oh, said the princess, not at all. Heaven knows what's in that bed. I lay on something so hard that I'm black and blue all over. It was awful. Prince Fastidious dropped his totes for joy, and his parents smiled. They could see that Princess Rose was a real princess. 
for only a real princess was delicate enough to feel one pea all the way through 20 mattresses and 20 goose feather quilts. Would you like an English muffin? said Prince Basidius to Princess Rose. Why, yes, that would be lovely, she said shyly. Lovely indeed, agrees, agreed Prince Basidius. The young couple fell in love by dinner time, where the first course was split pea soup. It was not long before Prince Basidius married his princess. As for the pea, they put it in the museum. It's still there for all to see, unless somebody has taken it. There, that's a true story. Good night. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Now we're going to sing a song. It's called I'm a Little Princess, and it's the song to the tune, I'm a Little Teapot. So let's get started. Please join me. We're going to sing it through twice, and there's going to be some motions with it. I'm a Little Princess. I'm a little princess, here's my crown. Here are my slippers and here is my gown. If the dragon sees me, I won't cry. Feed him some cookies and wave goodbye. Great job, guys, one more time. I'm a little princess, here's my crown. Here are my slippers and here is my gown. If the dragon sees me, I won't cry. Feed him some cookies and wave goodbye. Great job, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. There's going to be a link down below for a fun activity you can do at home. You can make some sand castles out of brown sugar. So I hope you enjoy that. There's also going to be a link, be a link for a craft you can make. It's a crown that you can make out of a paper plate. Please stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. Have a wonderful day.